I cannot comment on whether it's correct or not correct because I do not know the, the enough of the uh, news project. But what I can, I can tell you that the, uh, the new uh, Penang uh, safety guidelines for Houston development, that is certainly the right way to go. Uh, why I say that? If you look at the new guideline, it spells out what are the very clear, transparent way and vigorous process from the, the uh, design then it's about design, constructions, supervision, and maintenance for all stakeholders, including local authority, uh, what they call personnel, uh, professionals. So that stands. So EV works towards that and beef up the, the staff strength in the local authority. I'm sure that the huge side developments will not be an issue. And uh, from the, what's the planning part, you see they try to reduce the print area. We are not talking about cutting the whole hill, it's just a small print area, small print area for development. And that of course is better than actually cutting the whole areas. And you know that the city guideline also the new city guideline also mentioned about duties and responsibility for various stakeholders from the design until maintenance. So I think that is the way forward to achieve. Okay, on the what do you call people don't like to see a hill being bad. And that can easily be tackled, meaning to say, I allows you to cut a certain area, a berm for instance, a berm means a road, and then you turf it, green it, before you move on to the next one. And do not allow that to be uh, barren for more than certain days, not talk about months or weeks, even, or years. So these are ways that can actually easily achieve. So the one day I think Penang will be like Hong Kong. But you don't have much land anymore. Yep. To do. What would be the advice to okay. the government? Ah, this is where one of the thoughts, we can actually control that. Meaning to say that, uh, let's review the overall policy. In certain area, you say, look, you will be, we want to have a small print, small density. Let's specify it. So in other words, you've got to look at the uh, bigger picture and look and see how I want to allow, or you, you, the government want to allow the develop, future development. And that's very commonly done in the and can set it. So there's no uh, what you call two different things about it. Can okay, set at these elevations or this altitude, what sort of development allow, what density, and what is a hard surface. You are not going to allow then okay the whole area everywhere for the building. In certain areas you I want to reduce it even lower than thirty percent. Currently thirty by seven. We are proposing the uh, high end it, class 4 reduced to by 20 percent if they're certainly more sensitive we don't allow it but if it's a private land what do you do so you have no choice but to buy back the private land but you can't go on and buying all the private land back so you have to zone in especially the government uh, uh, what they call forest reserve you may want to get it in, in uh, some those land say look this area we do not want any development rather than to see the whole area being, being developed, it can be done. So my suggestion is probably uh, just look at uh, macro. What is the types of development you want to allow? Both taking considerations of the uh, environment, uh, cultural, in addition to the current uh, safety uh, guideline that you have. The, the current guideline that we have for the next state's guideline for development and two slopes. Are they adequate to... Is there anything that you, they, they should look into uh, more appropriately? No, at the moment we are talking about safety guidelines, but not on policy guidelines. We, are not, we didn't touch anything on the, uh, the 250 feet, for instance, no. That will fall under the planning uh, policy, the, uh, the what they call, how the state want to look at in future, which area they want to allow development, that's not covered. Mm. Our guideline purely talking about safety. So the guideline for safety by the state government safety is good enough? Yes. Very comprehensive, as I say, very clear, transparent, and vigorous process for all stakeholders.